<laughs> what up y'all your boy blew up on here yet again um just wanted to talk a little bit about some juggler spirituality you know um i got a portion of violent jays behind the paint here <laughs> first off let me say to the haters we're not a cult all right I'm just quoting from the book here and words of Violent J and shit. It's not like my Bible or nothing, you know. All right, so turn, if you would, to page 182, um, verse... No, just plain. Um, all right, but words of Violent J in the chapter of the Dark Carnival. You know, Violent J had a vision um, of you know, all this happy stuff, you know. Read the book for yourself. I got another video on it, <laughs> reading more from this. But, uh, yeah, okay. Violent J says that... Uh, he says, I believe in God and I feel that the vision I had was his will. It is because of this belief that I feel that through our music we can reach out to people who are in need of help. People whose souls are being corrupted beyond return from the evil deeds of this world. I believe that our music, with its apparently violent and extreme outwardly appearance, has the power to attract and draw in people who are lost from God. Then they can hear its deeper, truer purpose, that you should strive to enter Shangri-La, heaven, and not become lost in hell's pit. You could look at our music as fighting fire with fire. Those who never dig below the surface of the music of ICP will probably judge it as a violent and evil thing. Those of us who have dug deeper, however, realize that there is a message that pertains to trying to save the human soul. We ain't no kind of magical fucking chosen prophets, we know that. I'd say, though, that we truly have within us a great concern for people, well, most people anyway. This motivates me to do what I do. If nothing else, I am on this planet trying to do the best I can, and I believe I am doing something positive that is helping people. At the least, it is providing entertainment, but at the grandest, holding up a mirror that might help some people to get on a more righteous path so that they won't spend eternity burning in hell. People hate me for many different reasons, some of them justified. I have and still continue to be a troubled man who makes mistakes. There are even people reading this right now who are probably hating me for everything I have just said. Fuck hate. It is true I might have to get people's attention through hate, but I'm a good person at heart and I'm only trying to do good as a man. I believe in what I am doing. It is my life's work. I am far from what most might consider a man of God, but I do not believe in all... I do not believe in all of the traditional biblical beliefs as to what is concerned, considered a sin. Anyway, back to the story. Alright, so to break it down there, there it is in black and white, straight from the horse's mouth for you. Alright, um, Violent J doesn't believe in traditional Bible beliefs for those who think that he's some big Christian and shit like that, for one. Um, but, you know, right there, that's for the haters, too. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people like to talk shit and call ICP evil and whatnot, but... Basically, you can be anything you want to be. That's the beauty about being a juggler. You can be, be a Christian, Islamic, whatever you want to be, and be a juggler. It doesn't matter. Uh, but hopefully, you'll just still, even if Christianity ain't helping you be a better person, you'll dig into the message of the Dark Carnival, ICP's music, all Psychopathic Records music, and be a better person, you know? Uh, it's good to have fun with your friends, you know, be crazy, have fun, you know, that's your individuality. You know, yeah, but at the same time, we're supposed to take care of one another and shit. And um, not just jugglers, but all people, you know. And it really hurts me when I see jugglers hating on other jugglers for no reason. Um, you know, fights at concerts. Uh, all the good happy shit. So, and hopefully if you even don't believe in God, hopefully you still... You know, try to better yourself while you're here on this earth and shit, you know, with the message that Psychopathic Records is trying to get across to you. And we got to find a way to reach these people who don't believe in the message and just believe in all the crazy and just have fun with the music and shit. There is a message there, all right? So dig deeper. <laughs> right there, just like I read in the book. So, yeah. There you have it, folks. Much motherfucking wicked clown love. As always, be sure to stay safe, take care of one another. Have a good day. God bless. Woo woo. Hey, what's up, everyone? Your boy blew up on here, and uh, here's a video I wanted to make about um, ICP and the occult. Now, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but um, I do believe that uh, the Insane Clown Posse are an occultist group. You know, they're not a Christian band, evangelical Christians like everyone wants to think. Um, you know. Um, Violent J and Shaggy's beliefs differ from one another even individually, 
to the best of my knowledge, as do most jugglers. We all believe different things. We're all entitled to believe whatever we want. Um, but I'm just saying that um, I've always said that ICP kind of uses a little bit of everything. So um, a lot of different people can relate to what they do and in, in their art, you know. So um, who's to say maybe are they just using it um, as a part of their art or, you know, do they really uh, believe in some of these things because they are self-admittedly uh, into voodoo. They use it in their lyrics. Um, you know, and also uh, they've been known to use different things in their art, like for the artist Dark Lotus, uh, the super group from Psychopathic Records, you know, you have the Lotus Cross, and then if you open up their Opaque Brotherhood Deluxe Edition CD, it looks different than the original. It actually has the uh, pentagram on there, looking all crazy and shit. I'm not sure maybe the exact term for that, you know, with the lines around it, maybe something different, but... You know, that's some straight up occultic shit right there. You know, everything that they, they do talking about death, uh, you know, um, and Shangri-Las borrowed from Tibetan monks. Uh, these freaking warriors, I forget what warriors these are called from, um, from China, slipping my mind right now. But that, that's borrowed from the Chinese culture. Uh, if you open up the Great Malenko, there's actually um, something written in Arabic in there, which I still don't know. I think someone tried telling me it was some kind of uh, spell. So don't quote me on that. I don't know. I don't read Arabic. But if any of y'all do, can someone please, you know, look into the Great Malenko and tell me, or I can show, send you a screenshot or something. Um, <clears throat> so that's basically it. You know, if you look up a cultist that talks about looking for hidden meaning um, and just basically that a cultist are into, um, you know, a little bit of everything. So I guess that's kind of what I am. I'm agnostic. I believe in something, but I don't know what to believe. So uh, I think I'm aiming more towards occulticism, uh, you know. So, you know, who really knows? Um, you know, much respect to people who are into one certain religion and put your faith in said religion. Um, but, you know, it's just, man, I have too many questions that go unanswered. And But I definitely believe in something, you know. There's definitely something there on the other side. So, uh, you know, and also, you know, ICP have been known to talk about karma. You know, just do your best to be a good person and doing to others and whatnot. You know, they just borrow beliefs from a little bit of everything, you know. And also, the, one of the main things I wanted to say is they have also been known to use, you know, the wicked shit, you know, with the hidden me message, you know, underneath. So everything's out in the open now. Everybody knows that the truth is they follow God. They've always been behind them. Um, the carnival is God, and they hope everybody finds them. But uh, they've also been known to say that they... Uh, Violent J is quoted saying that he likes to use the devil's own tricks against them. So, you know, they even, one can say that they do dabble in Satanism because they use, they, they kind of pose as Satanists to grab your attention. You know, it's just shock value. But then they pull you in and then you realize that, you know, that's where people say that they're actually evangelical Christians. Like, no. Uh, my view would be that they are occultists because they use a little bit of everything. Are they self-admitted cultists? I don't know. It's it's juggaloism. How about we'll just leave it at that? Juggaloism is, you know, having an open mind and whatnot. You know, everybody has their own beliefs and view on that. But I guess that's just a little bit of uh, how I see things. Um, so comments and video responses. Keep them coming. Um, you know, don't forget to rate and uh, share it if you will. Let's clown love. Woo woo.